Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme Video, the morning edition for Monday, May 5th. I'm James Spann, a summer preview for Alabama, the warmest weather so far this year. In coming days, let's go in there and take a look at the big picture, a flat ridge. I pressure aloft across the southern states that produced some very warm weather yesterday. Birmingham's official high was 87, warmest so far this year, within five of the record of 92, set way back in 1902. And we saw some triple-digit heat yesterday in parts of Oklahoma and Kansas. And for some of those cities out there, that was the earliest triple-digit heat on record. Places like Wichita, Kansas. Temperatures this morning around here are pretty comfortable. You know, the cool air heats and cools very effectively. So despite the warmth, the morning it's pretty cool. In fact, Fort Payne sitting at 50. Birmingham 59. But we go back into the upper 80s today. Around the nation, pretty quiet. A couple of uh, freeze warnings up north around the Great Lakes. Some red flag, war red flag warnings out west. Later this week, severe weather possibility. This is the day three convective outlook. A slight risk of severe weather from Texas up into the upper Midwest. And on day four, which is Thursday, some risk of severe weather in the same general area. No risk beyond that. And we don't expect any severe weather here beyond uh, Thursday as Moisture starts to come back late this weekend over the weekend. This is the rain through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock local time. Bigger numbers a little west of here from uh, Texas up into Arkansas. But no doubt we could see a little rain uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we'll explore that as we go. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. This is at 500 millibars. You can see the ridging. Just west of here, we have a dry northwest flow aloft, and today will be just like yesterday, bright and sunny and warm. Highs in the upper 80s today. That's uh, about 10 degrees above average, but shy of the record. Same thing tomorrow, and the same thing Wednesday. We note low pressure developing over eastern Colorado, and there could be some storms out there across the heartland by Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night. And then Thursday, that surface low moves up into South Dakota. And again, you can see a pretty broad warm sector with a chance of showers and storms from Texas up into uh, Iowa. And that's where there could be a few strong to severe storms Thursday afternoon or Thursday night. And then Friday, you can see how the shortwave energy passes way, way north of here. Uh, down below that, the surface low is in Canada. A, a surface boundary is down through Little Rock. And again, moisture increases. And clearly, there could be some uh, showers and storms around here Friday afternoon or Friday night. And uh, the moisture pool is going to stay in place for the weekend. This is Saturday. The front's not going to make it through. It stalls out north and west of the state. Uh, no severe weather problems expected. Just keep in mind, got something planned outdoors on Saturday. It should rain at times. Don't think it rains all day, but it will rain occasionally. There could be some thunder. And really the same thing on Sunday. A good moisture pool is in place and a new surface low is gathering west of the state over Texas. So after dry, warm conditions through Thursday, the weather goes showery around here for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'd say highs those three days should be in the low 80s, about you know where it should be for this time of the year. And there's a week from today, a little shortwave energy north and west of here. And again, a lot of moisture. So again, we'll maintain the chance of showers and storms. We'll check the end of the forecast, May 20th. Uh-oh, upper high with the uh, storm track displaced way north of here, and that means very warm, if not hot weather. That could push us up there uh, at 90 around May 20th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock or so this afternoon. And if you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.